Tiber Septim's dynasty of dragonborn emperors would continue to rule the Third Empire until the Oblivion Crisis. Under the reign of Emperor Uriel Septim VII, the mythic Dawn attempted to slay the dragonborn emperors and thus provide Merun's Dagon with the means to cross over into Tamriel. Uriel Septim and his three sons were assassinated, with only his illegitimate son, Martin Septim having survived. The leader of the mythic Dawn cult, Mankar Kamaran, was likewise a dragonborn, able to speak fire and wear the amulet of kings. Mankar would eventually be slain in his paradise, whereas Martin Septim would meet his end after he destroyed the amulet of kings in order to banish Merun's Dagon. During 4E201, the prophecy of the last dragonborn would come to pass. Alduin, who had been banished from Tamriel since the Marethic era by an Elder Scroll, returned to the land, indirectly helping the last dragonborn to escape an imperial execution at Helgen by destroying the town. The last dragonborn would learn of their nature while aiding the city of Whitran by slaying the dragon Mermalnir at the western watchtower of Whitran. Upon defeating the dragon, the dragonborn gained its soul, and through the word of power that the dragonborn had learned previously in a mission of the court wizard, was able to use the tuum. At the beginning of Skyrim, 7 a.m. of the 17th of last seed 4 E201, the Dragonborn, is a prisoner, who had been captured by members of the Imperial Legion, after crossing the border from Cyrodiil. While being transported to the settlement of Helgen, the Dragonborn discovers that Ulfric Stormcloak, the leader of the Stormcloak Rebellion, is a fellow prisoner. Upon reaching Helgen, the local Imperial captain sentences all the prisoners to death. Seconds before the Dragonborn's execution, Alduin attacks, providing a chance for escape. Regardless of race, the Dragonborn starts with both flames and healing spells, indicating that they studied the arcane arts before traveling to Skyrim. After learning Dragonrend, the last Dragonborn was able to face off against Alduin atop the Throat of the World, winning a minor victory against the World Eater, though Alduin did escape to Sovgard. The Dragonborn would give chase, and through the help of Odevying, they would gain access to Skuldafn and its portal to Sovgard. In Sovgard, the last Dragonborn would meet up with the three Nord tongues of old, Gormlaith, Haken, and Feldir, and together they faced off against Alduin, defeating him in combat. It is unknown if Alduin was truly slain, as in contrast to regular dragons, his soul was not absorbed. The leader of the Greybeards, Arngay, believed that it may have been possible that he could return to fulfill his true destiny, though that was for the gods to decide. <laughs>